What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the to Katie campaign. In the last part, basically did a bunch of uh, hammer strikes on the enemy. Ooh, what are they doing there? Unfortunately, I have no men back here to uh, defend that. But basically, the uh, general consensus is to. Uh, Non-clan religion. I'm going to expand this castle and build a Buddhist thing. Because I think the the different religions here are... Iku Iku is 95. Iku Iku is half. Okay. What kind of army do they have? Remember that pitch battle I was talking about? We are about to have this pitched battle. This is a horrible angle for the uh, the camera. Anyway, I will see you on the battle map, and hopefully we can win this and uh, defend off the invaders. Welcome back. So it looks like this is the most unfair advantage I've ever seen. Basically giving them a giant hill to camp on. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I do have to be careful with my cap because their army is mostly made up of spears. Okay, we're going to start uh, moving our army this way as they actually come off the hill, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Okay, Shingen is right here, leading his troops. Now we want to uh, try to meet them on the grassy flat. So they have a fair amount of archers too. I'm gonna try a quick strike with one of my Yaris. Yeah, no way with all these spears we can get that. Interesting what the AI is trying to do here. Look at that water. It's interesting. I think the uh, sun is either setting or rising. Because it's pretty dark. Oh yeah, they're in trouble now. Okay, these guys are, uh... Oh! That was a shocker. I had some spears there. Oh gosh, run horses, run! Oh, Through my skill at dodging their arrows. Oh crud. Keep running! Dang! These guys are tough. Wow, that's like inches away from our troops. You know, they may be killing a couple of my horses, but it'll definitely be worth it to get uh, rid of these archers. Yeah, look at that. That was a failed attack. It did do some uh, harm to the enemy, but definitely not enough. However, these guys are stupid enough to chase me. Definitely show them. Trade some shots with them. 
Who is this? Is that a dumb archer? Hey, run and tell. That archer unit was pretty stupid. Don't even have flaming arrows, which is what sucks. Okay, I'm gonna make just just this unit tired and uh, keep the rest of my men slowly advancing up the hill <laughs> yeah this battle actually is kinda sucking right now because they get a giant hill I don't wanna get my guys exhausted though That's all their archers, isn't it? To knock them off the ridge. This is going to be so sick if it works. Up, oh, run. Get back. Okay, boys. Everybody charge in. Need to keep one unit back though. Ooh, keep these guys back. Bring my archers up. Oh, this is epic because it's right on this hill. And if you fall off, you're in kind of in trouble. Now, the reason I'm keeping these spear guys is to keep my general safe. Giant horde of samurai. Take these guys around. I hate it when they have a ton of spears. Makes it a lot harder. Whoever made this map should be fired, by the way. Just saying. All the crud they put on this. I gotta give it to this AI. They must be pretty improved to be uh, taking these odds on. Wish I had flaming arrows. Okay. These guys are very tired. And they're fighting downhill. So I think we're gonna win that. I'm just going to commit my cav now to uh, lessen this fight. You know, that's just a sword unit. I'm really not too worried about him. Knock him off the mountain. Knock them off the mountain. Tell me someone got knocked off the mountain. Whoa. Time to run, boys. If I can kill their general. Okay, I'm gonna pull my cab out again. I'm desperate. Getting kind of desperate here for their, uh, their guys to die. Mm. 
Just a giant blob. Oh, that's going to strike a blow to their morale. This is... I'm not sure exactly how this battle's going. I know they're fatigued. Need to get the general out of there. Ah, oh gosh, this is turning into way more bloodier than I wanted. Okay, rear strike for the victory, hopefully. Cross your fingers, viewers. Cross your fingers. Yes, good. Good job crossing your fingers here. Wow. That was intense. Ooh. I'll see you back on the campaign map with the battle results. Welcome back. So I lost about 700 men, but they lost their full force and their general. So I think that was uh, a victory well worth it. I mean, who really knows what they have down here, but we destroyed one of their major armies, so that was definitely worth it. What is this guy? Twenty-five. Let's try to sabotage these castle gates. It's been a while since I've seen a video, so let us let's just watch this. He's climbing up a wall. Apparently he climbed up in the wrong spot. That would hurt your foot. Failure. Now making 2k a turn though, so that's pretty, pretty decent. We need to continue our expansion into uh, Ichins, Ichin. I knew they were gonna siege this. We're gonna try to hold out there. That is, after all, our weakest army. I think we need to focus more on uh, maybe strategy of attack. Okay, troops, time to move your winter quarters into here to keep these people happy. 
Good, he actually was successful there, so that's one more mission and we can try to make him an assassin. So we do have some decent troops here, but they've got a ton of Yaru. We do not want to go out there. I don't know, I'm not really afraid to spend money. I just don't really I like having the money I do right now, but we need to uh need to get some more katana units. Like these Yari guys are not that good. Naganata maybe. I'm gonna destroy that. And I will make a sword. A sword dojo after that. I want to protect these two provinces, but I want to strike at the Umagawa who are kind of between behind our lines here. Okay. Let's hope we can do this. See you on the battle map. We are yet defending another small castle from a horde of enemy troops. Okay. So I've got one archer in each. Let's keep our units in reserve back here. Including our general. Is this the daimyo himself? I'm not sure. That's our daimyo. Now that their archers are now just coming into range. Just Bo Ashigaru. I know that their troops are tired and that's going to have a big effect on them. And on their morale. Especially, you know, when they're climbing up these giant walls and they're tired. Like, this is one of our biggest sections of the wall. Okay, I'm betting you that these Yari and these Samurai Retainers can hold off these troops. Hoping that. Okay, we're now going to send in the Katana Samurai here. to uh, distribute our forces and then we got a Yari Ashigaru in reserve. Oh, that's going to be effective. Yari They spread out their attack, I'm impressed. Yeah, I believe this wing will break first. And their morale's not too good. I wonder which unit their general's in. Oh, nice. I knew they would take heavy cowardice, but I knew they could do it. For a second, I thought I was the uh, Yumagawa forces. That's our general himself. Yeah, when you run your troops, never run them up a hill, so then they get tired, and then, uh, you need to have a real general, or a lot of numbers to take a castle, because all you really have to do is have credier troops like I did, like even the Yari Ashigaru can hold off a, uh, a bad unit such as these guys.
Ah, uh, that's what happens when you get in the way. So that's the battle. I'll see you in the campaign map with the results. Welcome back, YouTube. So basically, we destroyed most of their force and only lost 155 guys. Yeah, their army was pretty much destroyed there. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Yuskagi. These guys are mine. Where were you helping me fight them off in the siege? I didn't think you were anywhere. Nice. Okay, we're now going to push the Imagawa out of our lands. Bam. Back to back. Victories. To back. Commanding ambushes. How about 2% minus chance of assassination along with some melee attack? Okay. Okay, we need to get most, if not all, of this army back. Ah, <sighs> oh, we need Yari defenses. Okay, well these cities are going to be unhappy for a little bit. And now they're just getting used to the idea of being ruled by a fair and just ruler as I am. Okay. Yeah, I think we should end this part now. We're at like 22 minutes. That's like literally the most time we can go before uh, not being able to upload to YouTube. Anyway, this is Carbon T2 on Sci-Fi. Hope you enjoyed.